Picture this, you are at a great fishing spot. You've got bait on your line, you and your buddies are having a great time, but you can't catch shit. Something keeps stealing your bait. Something is picking these apart and we can't catch them. So what do we do? What we do is we try harder and longer. Solomon's Island is a great place to fish and crab because it sits right on the Chesapeake Bay. We went there for the famous Maryland blue crab, but we couldn't See catch anything. I'll get the net, get the net. Oh God. Oh. Oh. When we watched the footage at home, we realized that our bait attracted all sorts of weird underwater creatures. We also noticed that there were a bunch of little small northern puffer fish enjoying a free meal of free chicken necks. These chicken necks actually attracted a whole bunch of different kind of little strange fish. Like magnets, the schools of spot and other fish were attracted to the bait. This guy caught a spade fish in his crab trap. So one of the weirdest fish that we saw that day was called the sea robin. And the sea robin is a very strange looking fish with tentacle-like legs, really big spikes and fins like wings where it can actually fly out over the water. But the sea robin is actually a bottom feeder. We also saw a herd of beautiful cow nose rays, which weren't really interested in our chicken necks. But the weirdest fish that we saw was a fish called the toadfish. And this, this is a really slimy, gross looking, um, squishy fish that was actually not eating the chicken necks, but instead it was standing on top. It was floating on top of the chicken necks, waiting for little fish to come by so it would eat the little fish. So it wasn't interested in eating the chicken neck, it was interested in guarding the chicken neck and surprising fish and eating them. The toadfish could have been what was keeping the crabs away, honestly. We wound up losing all of our chicken necks that day and had to stop fishing because we were out of bait. The puffer fish, I guess, just outsmarted us that day. And I want to know from you guys, have any of you ever been outsmarted by fish? Well, I know for a fact that fish have outsmarted me. Actually, they outsmart me almost every time I go fishing. <laughs> One time I hooked onto a snakehead. It was a big snakehead, shook it off right at the boat, and looks at me for a good five seconds before it just swims off. <laughs> just saying like, ha ha, f you. <laughs> We're gonna bleep that out. Thank you guys for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe below because we post these every single week for you guys to watch. The Senko Skipper channel connects all sorts of fishing, fishing from around the world for you lovely people to share and watch. Thank you. We'll see you next week in Florida. See you guys next week in Florida. That was so, so lame. lame. <laughs>